Business Calculus Topic 2 Homework Problems 32, 37, and 39. 32, we're being asked to take the derivative of the function s. We're going to use the um, power rule. In order to use the power rule, we need to have all power, so I'm going to distribute this x. So we'll get s of x equals x cubed, and then x times negative 7 over x leaves just negative 7. And now I take the derivative of this function. The derivative of x cubed will be 3 times x, and I'll reduce the power by 1, which is squared. The derivative of a constant will be 0. So the final answer is the derivative of s of, s, f, s of x is 3x squared. Now, for the next problem, number 37, we're being asked to find the, um, the tangent line, the equation of the tangent line at x equals negative 2 of this equation. Well, what I'm going to do is find that we need the slope of that tangent line and the slope is found by the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now we're going to do some replacing. For this one, everywhere we see a x, we're going to put in the x plus h. So instead of x over 2 minus 3, this is going to be x plus h over 2 minus 3. Here we're going to put a minus sign. And here we're going to put the function f of x in a parentheses. The function f of x is x over 2 minus 3. So x over 2 minus 3 all over h. Okay. Now from there, uh, we're going to choose values for x. Well, the x is already chosen as negative 2. So x is negative 2. For h, since h goes to 0, I'm going to choose h is 0.1, and then I'm going to choose h to be 0 0.01, h then to be 0 0.001, and I'll continue that pattern until I get a value that, um, that approaches the slope. So this will, will uh, tell us what the slope is. So let's start that process here. First, we want x to be negative 2, so I'll type in negative 2, store, that in x. Next I want h to be 0.1, so 0.1 store alpha and where's the h? There's the h. Okay, so now x is negative 2 and h is 0.1. Now to put this into the calculator I'm going to have to introduce a parenthesis for the entire numerator and also a parenthesis for this numerator as well. Okay, now let's start the process. Open parenthesis, then another open parenthesis, and then x plus alpha h, and then we'll close that parenthesis and divide by 2. Then minus 3, and then minus another parenthesis, and x divided by 2, x divided by 2, subtract 3, close parenthesis, and then close the entire numerator with another parenthesis and divide all that by h. So alpha h. And we get 0.5. Okay, now I'm going to put in 0 0.01, store that into alpha h, hit enter. And I want to bring my equation back again, so I'm going to press second function enter, if it's not there yet, second function enter, and there's my equation back again and I'll press enter and now I get 0.5 again. So I can see that as I put in 0 0.001 and I store that in H, alpha H, um, let's see, when I bring up my equation I am consistently getting 0.5 so that is my slope. My slope is 0.5. Alright, well not only do we need a point, we need a slope. Oh, sorry, not only do we need a slope, we need a point. We know that x is negative 2. So when I put negative 2 into the equation, I can get my point or my y point. So put negative 2 in here for x. So I get negative 2 divided by 2 minus 3. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1 minus 3. And that ends up being negative 4. So that's my point. x is negative 2 and y is negative 4. So now that I have a point and a slope, 
I can use my point slope formula. The opposite of y is going to be positive 4. The slope is 0.5. The opposite of x is positive 2. So this is 4, uh, y plus 4. I'll distribute my 0.5, and I'll get 0.5x and plus 1. Subtract 4 from both sides. And the linear equation will be y equals 0.5x minus 3. Okay. All right. 39. 39, same conditions. Uh, we want to say that uh, we want to find the limit as h approaches 0. And our function is f of x plus h minus f of x. And that's all over h. So our limit as h goes to 0. Okay, so everywhere we see an x, we're going to put in a x plus h. So instead of 3 square root of x, this will be 3 square root of x plus h. Minus, instead of, um, f, well, sorry, f of x, which is 3 square root of x. And that's all over h. Now, I'm going, we have that x is 16, and I'm going to choose h to be um, 0.1 h to be 0 0.01, h to be 0 0.001. I'll keep this pattern up until I can find the slope. All right, so let's put all this in, and I'm going to make sure that the numerator is enclosed by a parenthesis. And let's say that 16 is being stored, stored into x, and 0 0.1 is being stored into alpha h. Okay, so open parenthesis, 3, and then my root, which is second function root here, and then my x, which is x here, plus alpha h, and I need to close that parenthesis there, and then subtract 3, and then second function square root, my x, I gotta close my x there, then close the numerator, and then divide everything by alpha h. And I get 0.37. Okay, now let's put 0 0.01. Let's store that into alpha h. Bring our equation back again. And we get 0.37 again, more decimals. And now I'm going to put 0 0.001. I'm going to store that into uh, my alpha h and bring my equation back and I get 0.37 and these numbers are starting to dry out. Let's try even smaller, 0.001. Okay, and let's store that into alpha h and let's say second function, second function. Oh, there we go. 0.375. That's my slope. 0.375. Okay, now we need a point as well as a slope. So since x is 16, we're going to put 16 into the function and we'll get 3 times the square root of 16. The square root of 16 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So y is 12. So the point is 16 comma 12. Then we'll put out our point slope formula. And we'll put opposite of y, which is negative 12, the point 375, and the opposite of x, which is negative 16. And I'm going to distribute my point 375. And so point 375 multiply that times a negative 16, and we get a negative 6. Now add 12 to both sides. And my linear equation is y equals 0.375x plus 6.